how to fire events for the Google tag. Google tag now it's unified and uh, instead of having a, a Google ads tag and a Google analytics tag, now we have um, a single tag with multiple destinations. So Google changed the terminology. We no longer have separate tags. We have a single tag with destinations. Um, in Pixel Your Site Professional, you can have Google Analytics and you can have a destination for Google Analytics and this is the ID and for Google um, Ads and this is the Google Ads ID. If you have the Super Pack add-on, which is a, a plugin that comes with our uh, bundle licenses and with Pixel Site Professional 10 and 100 domains, if you have it installed, you can have multiple uh, properties for Google, like multiple Google Analytics, add new, and multiple destinations for Google Ads with targeting options, entire website, singular. It, I have a different video showing you how this part works. It's very, very interesting and useful for some websites. Not all, but some. You can go here and uh, create your own events add new with various triggers page visit click on a link click on a css selector which is very very uh, useful i have another video on this channel explaining how to use this um, trigger basically you can target click clicks on any um, element of your website mouse over a css selector page scroll when you define a percent uh, post type and it will fire for various uh, post types and uh, we also have integration integrations with a number of form plugins if they are installed on your website you will see them here in my case i have a very popular form plugin contact form 7 and i can select the form like this and uh, an event will fire when the form is success successfully submitted. Let, let's use this trigger for our example. Uh, I selected a form. Now I can enable the event for all the tags supported by Pixel Your Site. I want to enable them for Google Tags. By default, this event will fire for all Google Tags present on present on your website. In my case, one. J4 Google Analytics property and two uh, Google Ads destinations. But I can say, no, no, I don't want all the tags to get this, only this uh, J4 or only this um, Google Ads destination. If you select a Google Ads destination, you can add a conversion label and transform this event into a conversion. So Google will know, okay, we have a conversion on this website, we will measure it, and uh, we will also optimize our uh, as delivery for such events. Uh, I have another video on the channel explaining how you can get the conversion label. It's relatively easy. For now, I just want to show you what you need to do when you can you create an event for Google Ads, for Google Tag, in this case, for Google Ads. Custom event, you choose your own name, type it here, you can add parameters, add the name of the parameter and a value. Um, but you can also select one of the many uh, standard parameters that Google has. We have all, we have them all listed here. Okay, like this. And uh, the default parameters will be displayed right away. So I don't know, purchase, and you have the parameters here. Um, Again, if you have the super pack, there are various dynamic parameters available explained here at the bottom of the play of, of the bottom of the page. That's it. It's <laughs> it's not complicated, it's very easy. Once you have everything configured, save and uh, you can go to tagassistant.google.com, fire the event and see if it's uh, working as expected maybe you should test in an incognito window or clear caches before testing 
to be sure that you have the latest version of your website uh, instead of a cache. I, I see this often. Uh, I'm Christian Stoichescu from Pixel Your Site. Like, share, and uh, subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.